since you are uh, former recovered politicians, as I am, we, uh, we also have the events in Ottawa for the past few days uh, sort of culminating at the time of recording of this with uh, the uh, vote in the Conservative caucus to remove Aaron O'Toole as the Conservative leader. Love to get a hot take from uh, our, our members of the panel, including starting with Joe, because he was in caucus with me and knows a little bit about caucus dynamics, but would love to hear the other panelists as well. Joe, why don't you lead off with your, your reaction? Well, sure. Um, I mean, for Aaron O'Toole, uh, it was very high on the misery index because it's inflation plus unemployment, and now he's he's unemployed. Um, look, I, I think uh, you know it was it, it wasn't a, a surprise. Uh, he, unfortunately, Aaron uh, uh, wasn't resonating with the public or with the conservative base, and so a decision was taken, and it was a decisive decision. Uh, now we'll. We'll, we'll await the, the appointment of an interim leader. I guess that's going to happen this evening, and then uh, perhaps in, in, in the fall, a new leader. Uh, in my view, th this is a real opportunity for the Conservative Party uh, to, to do a number of things. Uh, you know, for, first of all, it's an opportunity to, to enunciate a vision uh, for Canada, a vision of, of Canada that, that Canadians uh, remember, that, that Canadians... Uh, um, identify with and 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 really uh, and love. Um, it's it's an opportunity for the Conservative Party to to start rebuilding the trust uh, in authority and in government that that's been been lost for a variety of reasons during the a lot, especially during the last a couple of years in the pandemic. And it's a chance for the party to advance policies that will uh, create growth, uh, employment. Uh, prosperity, and uh, I think uh, in the light of, of, of the challenges that uh, Canada has, and in my opinion, uh, the fact that the country is headed in the wrong direction, uh, this is an opportunity uh, not only for the Conservative Party but for for Canadians uh, to to right the ship and and uh, uh, have uh, you know contemplate a, a a better future than we're looking at right now. Sandra Pupatello, what's it like being a liberal looking at all this? <laughs> well, I have to say, you know, when you realize that the main opposition is going to be very introspective in the next many months and not really bothering with their critic portfolios or doing the job of official opposition, that's probably good news for, uh, for the governing liberals. Uh, I have to say I was surprised by the outcome because... On a popular vote, I thought Aaron O'Toole actually did quite well, albeit, you know, not picking up the seats he needed. Um, the guy who really must be just sweating right now is Jagmeet Singh. I mean, over the course of two campaigns, he lost half the seats of their party. He did not gain seats. And yet he seems to be getting a free ride in all this. And poor Aaron, who did so well in popular vote, even in this last one, uh, just got the boot. And, uh, it, you know, so it really, for me, I sat back and said, my biggest fear was had Peter McKay won that leadership back then, I think the Liberals would have had a harder fight. Um, for me, given how this vote's uh, come out, all I can think of is that we're going to have a more right-wing leader of the Conservative Party, and that bodes very well for uh, anybody centre and left, uh, and that means the Liberals. So uh, I'm heartened by what happened because uh, chaos on the other side is good for the Liberals, and uh, all we can think of is who on earth is going to want to step in now. A very divisive party from what I can see. Gary Mar, I want to hear from you on this, but before I do, because uh, we just have a few seconds before the break, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll agree with both of the panels so far in, in, in a sense, you know, uh, one of my adages is, uh, you know, when your opponent is digging a hole, don't interrupt them. Uh, let them keep <laughs> let them keep digging and uh, well, I think you that's... remember that time Tony because uh, after every campaign it seems when the leaders lost an election there would be the dump oh, of the leader movement. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I've watched that happen from close up and it's awful. Yeah.